Hey, what's up guys? DBL here, coming back at you with some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay footage. Uh, Black Ops 3 beta gameplay footage, I guess I should say. I'm definitely not one of the YouTubers who uh, gets this game early. You know, I don't get the big Activision bucks where I get the game, you know, a week or two early and have 30 videos ready for the first day of release. <laughs> Although, hey, if there are any Activision reps out there, I will shill the crap out of your game because uh, if Black Ops 3 turns out even half as good as the beta was, I'm sold. But anyways, what's up guys? We are bringing you some basic TDM gameplay here, and I am doing something that I don't usually do. I'm using a sniper rifle in this gameplay. Now, you guys know I'm not really much of a sniper, and the, uh, the Dracon semi-automatic sniper in the beta was just kind of a lulzy little weapon. You know, it always makes me chuckle when there's a semi-automatic sniper rifle that's a one-hit kill, like a fast fire rate semi-automatic sniper. <laughs> because they're just the uh, the spammiest things in the world, and it's always super goofy to use them. Uh, the M21 EBR from Modern Warfare 2 comes to mind. I used to love that thing. You would just whip it out, put an ACOG scope on it, and boom, run around in battle and just spam the fire trigger, one-shot killing everyone around you. So the Dracon is sort of like that. The fire rate isn't quite as fast as the EBR, but it's still pretty good, and it's a one-shot kill seemingly from uh, the midsection of the body and up. Also, as you can see, I'm using that RK-5 semi-automatic pistol. Oh man, Treyarch has done it again with the handguns in this game. The handguns, which were really hand cannons in uh, Black Ops 2, were probably some of the best guns in the game, you know, I love that TAC-45. And if the Black Ops 3 beta is any indication, the pistols in this game are going to be just as good, if not better, than the ones in Black Ops 2. I'm okay with that. I'm somebody who used to run around getting TAC-45 swarms. The good handguns work for me. I mean, look at this. Just melting this guy down. Two burst kill. Not a problem at all. But alright now, guys. We are a little over one week away from the official release of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and I could not be more excited. I actually forgot about the game entirely over the past month or so, thanks to mainly the Destiny the Taken King. I mean, you guys know, I've been playing Destiny pretty much since the game came out, and the Taken King has been an absolutely fantastic expansion to the base game. But if there's anything that's going to pull me out of Destiny for at least a short amount of time, it's probably gonna be Black Ops 3. Ooh, and check this out, I see this guy coming. I had every opportunity to take that man down and just absolutely flubbed it. Thankfully, Rejack is a thing. Mmm, burn that man down. Totally broken, right? Needs to be nerfed. Uh, not really. That guy kind of made a mistake. He saw that I went into rejack, and rather than stopping and just pulling up his sights so he could have just burnt me down as soon as I got up, he decided to run up right on top of me so I got the jump on him. And oh, boom, headshot. Maybe I am getting the hang of this whole sniper thing. Uh, but anyway, I definitely object to the rejack nerf. I think it was unwarranted, but that's, that's an entire rant of its own. For right now, I'm just super psyched about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I really had a lot of fun with the beta, and I know a lot of you guys did too. We had a couple of live streams, and uh, the turnaround from that was actually pretty good. You guys seem pretty interested in it. I mean, I know a lot of you guys who come to my channel are primarily Destiny fans, and I'm right there with you. I love Destiny. But how many of you guys out there are super excited for Black Ops 3? You know, for some of you longer-term fans of the channel, you know we used to be a Call of Duty channel, you know, back in the day. My primary content was Black Ops 2 videos and then uh, eventually Call of Duty Ghost videos. Could you imagine me making Ghost videos now? Well, it's actually not that crazy. I was actually playing Ghost just yesterday, I think. Also, hold up. Let's rewind that. I have to watch that one more time. This man was completely oblivious, came right up on me, and how many shots did I waste on him? Five. Five shots. I told you guys, I'm not a sniper. But the fact that I was able to pull that kill off is just tomfoolery at its best. <laughs> <laughs> Remember guys, it's always better to be lucky than to be good. That one quote alone could describe the entirety of my Call of Duty career. And mmm, that career is getting ready to start back up. So yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 starting up next Friday, and I cannot wait for it. You guys be sure to let me know if you're excited for Black Ops 3 in the comment section below. I know some of you out there are. But alright, moving on here, we were talking about shilling to, uh, to Activision a little bit earlier. But uh, recently I was given the option to do some shilling of my own. Oh, but hold up, check this out, look at this HCXD. I'm here pumping it full of sniper shots and it just beelined straight towards me. Thankfully I had, the, uh, I had the foresight to just back up, you know, and hop into the air a little bit because that thing was going Rambo on me. How many shots does it take to blow that thing up? But anyway, shilling. So here's the story. The other day, I was contacted by a merchandising website. 
It's one of the more well-known ones, uh, in the same vein as like Teespring. They were basically asking me if I wanted to create and market out some merchandising based off of my YouTube channel. You know, stuff like wristbands, t-shirts, and hoodies. Yeah, it was definitely kind of a surreal experience, you know, I don't think I'm anywhere near big enough to uh, warrant that sort of thing. Also, ooh, OP, underwater rejack for the, uh, for the save. <laughs> Oh, Rejack is so good. But yeah, so I was thinking, wow, you know, I'm flattered, I think it's really cool, but I don't even know if I'm a big enough channel for that sort of thing. But, you know, at least I figured, you know what, I'll think about it. You know, maybe I won't do something as big as t-shirts and hoodies, since those tend to be kind of expensive. Maybe I'll, you know, do some wristbands or something like that. I don't generally mess around with stuff like crowdfunding, merchandising, and Patreon and stuff like that, but as we move towards doing this as a, uh, as a career, potentially in the future, maybe it's something I should take a look at, who knows. Before any kind of decision like that is made, I always bring it to you guys first. So, there it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Would you want a Stay Frosty coffee mug or wristband? Ooh, just like that guy needs right now. I'll send it to his hospital bed, because this pistol is crazy. <laughs> I actually almost got a two-piece here. Oh man, somebody better go tell Thunder. The return of the OP Vonderhaar pistols is nigh. And I simply cannot wait. I also want to play Halo 5, but... You know. <laughs> but alright, there we go guys, that's pretty much it for the gameplay here. I somehow managed to go positive with that sniper rifle, pulling in a score of 15 and 5. That 3.0 KD. Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Be sure to leave your thoughts about everything in this video in the comment section below. And if you like what you saw here, do feel free to check out my channel where you will find a ton more gaming videos, including some more Black Ops 3, coming out very soon. But alright, that's it for this one guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.